can turn all three yeah. on at the same time. <laughs> Let's turn all three on at the same time. Have you done that yet? Thanks for all the sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah try that. Yeah. <laughs> Hey man. Okay. So it's all about sound, is it? Sometimes. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I have a big pedal collection and we finally decided to make some. Yeah, but what a sweet guitar, is it? I think it sounds good. It sounds good in your hands. Yeah, sounding sorry. But we are here for another reason. We're not here because this of This is the Paul and Oliver yeah. show. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> we the only reason we're here is for the Paul and Oliver no, show. No, the only reason we are here is this absolutely insane amp here. You like it? Yeah, I like it. Is like, today the first day you played through it? The first time I played it. I, I played the 50s, but I never played the small one. Yeah, so yeah. we got a chance to open Hendrix's amp at the Paul Allen Museum. And when we opened it, it was not what we thought. They had done everything in their power when they were working on the amp to make it so it didn't blow power tubes on the road. They'd lowered all the voltages. They'd done yeah. so many things to make it so it survived. And it was halfway between a JTM 45 and a Super Lead. It wasn't a Super Lead, it wasn't a JTM 45, it was in the middle. So we made a 50, and then we made a 100. And what blew me away when we made the 50 and 100, it made the bass pickup sound like the treble pickup. So if you play yeah. on the bass pickup, it sounds like... It made the bass pickup sound... You could sound hear the wire. Yeah, right. Yeah. It, it yeah. made the bass pickup sound like the treble pickup. Then we made a 20 watt. Yeah. And that was just nothing but good fun. And it's always been the 20. We knew the 20 was coming. Yeah. But you, you can't do the 20 till you prove you could do the 100 and the 50. Yeah, sure. I thought people wanted to sound like Hendrix, but they had no interest in that. What they had interest in is sounding like, like, like themselves. Yeah. So they would use their pedal board and these amps to get their tone. And, you know, Mark Letiri and a whole bunch of other people just adored it, which I thought was great because the amp was doing its job. Yeah. I mean, you know, John Mayer says to me, he says, well, they're going to figure out how good a guitar player Hendrix was. <laughs> it was a real compliment, really. Yeah. Okay, so what you did here, so you, we have a high treble here and a low treble, and you can mix it. Yeah, you same can blend same, it together. Just the way he did. It's like a jump lead. Yeah, practice. if you look yeah. at the way he used his rig, yeah. one amp was turned up higher than the other. He used one cleaner than the other. He was mixing cleaner and yeah. dirty together. Yeah. 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 That's what I really like. And, yeah. And you made the treble cap switchable. Yeah, well, because a, a lot thing. of people go in and clip it out. Yeah, sure, but yeah. I like it in. Yeah, okay, well, you can yeah. have, you can <laughs> have yeah. it. I like it out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, now it's it's On the warmer. 50 and the 100, there's three positions. There's, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's warmer, yeah. This is another treble cap. You can turn yeah. it off. It's a little less gain. Less gain, and now it's yeah. more... So yeah. So more offensive. So, yeah. It's the cap on the cathode follower. So a JTM 45 didn't have it. Yeah. And and uh, the amp that we checked did have it. But I like the blending. I like the. You have all the you have all the high treble here on the left side and the thickness. That's awesome. I'm glad you like it. And you did a massive volume on that one. Yeah, we had to. For the first time. So I sent one to Eric Johnson. There's a yeah. uh, the quote that he gave us. He likes it for lead. He really likes yeah. it. He doesn't like master vimes at all. Yeah. <laughs> but he said, well, this one seems to work, yeah. which was very sweet of him to say. Yeah. So did you try these pedals? Yeah. This is an optical compressor. This is an LA-2A. This is a studio device. This is actually sounds the same as, a, as an optical compressor. <laughs> It's much thinner without it. Much thinner. Right, but... Yeah. And the other thing you can do is you can turn the compressor off, use it as a boost, so off. Yeah. When we made it, we couldn't hear it work but we knew it was working, so we put a light to show you how much it was working. You said to me, I can see the release. On yeah, the well, yeah, you, we can see the yeah. attack and the release. <laughs> but unless the light was going on and off, you wouldn't really know yeah. it was on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, like, I like the warmth. Yeah, it's warmer. <laughs> You 
we've got great ears. There's a trick in here, yeah. even though no, we're not playing with a frequency response that makes it warmer. But LA-2As are that way, you know? Have you ever used one yeah. in the studio? Yeah, yeah, sure. So there's only two knobs on it, it works. So the next one's horse meat. Um, it's a joke. Uh, I got my hands on a real Klon Centaur. Yeah. And I was just in Japan. They wanted. I found one cheap, seven thousand U.S. Seven thousand dollars. Cheap. Cheap. Most of them are ten thousand dollars now. <laughs> somebody told me yesterday they yeah. found one for twenty thousand yeah. dollars. And I didn't understand what the big deal was, so I took it upstairs and I plugged it in. And I played through it. And I, well, that's the big deal because yeah. it made it made it sound more musical, you know. Yeah. And. Um, there were things about it I, I did, I, I was having trouble. I couldn't control the bass. As I turned the gain up, the bass went down. Yeah. Um, the treble knob was pretty good, but there were things about it I couldn't get to the high mid-range. Um, so I made it available. You can get to the, uh, the high mid-range, the treble and the bass and the gain and the other stuff. But this was not from their circuit. This was a from scratch circuit. Uh -huh. So it's not like any other circuit. I'm sure somebody's gonna make a copy of the thing, but we'll figure that out. <laughs> yeah. And anyway, horse meat's cool, so it's it's supposed to be really thick and throaty sounding. So so try it. So it's all about the mids. Yeah, of yeah. course it is. But there, but if you want bass, I can yeah. give you bass. No bass. Yeah. Now there's no bass, right? Yeah. So you can get to the things that you normally can't get to. And, you know, it's not like, look, a clon in our world is a holy grail. You have one here, everybody goes, oh, can I play that? Sure it is, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's a holy grail. But this was a joke, and it, it, it's only meant to be a really good distortion yeah. device, right? But you can't get the mids without the distortion, and, and you, you have a voice yeah. here for, the, for getting the mids uh, without mid any gain. Yeah, that's that's right. a good thing. That's yeah, you could yeah. use it as an EQ. Yeah. 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 But yeah. we're learning how to, doing these demos, like with you, I'm learning how to use them that I didn't even understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other day, I turned all three on just for fun, yeah. and the whole, my amp almost blew up. It was great. <laughs> So that's a high treble here? No, the voice? Uh, the voice is high mid-range. Yeah. Ah, 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 ah. The ah. The treble is here. Yeah. Okay, so that's your guitar, is it? <laughs> Well, I, I think you bought it from us, it's your guitar. All right, so this is Wind Through the Trees. Wind Through the Trees is two flangers fighting. So here's one flange. So you built, so, so it's not only the flangers, two flangers in a box. And they're fighting each other. They're fighting each other. Very, in the studio, very often, we'll take two flangers and put them in series and let them fight each other. Yeah. And so I said, well, let's make one. Yeah. Right. <laughs> That's one flanger, okay, and here's yeah. the other flanger. Okay, so it was slow and they're fast. Yeah, right. Yeah. So now we mix them. Yeah. And, and a flanger, they add high end, but you, we gave you control over it. Ah, right. Flanger's always yeah, adding yeah, high yeah, end, yeah. but you don't can't have any That's control. That's what we like. Over. That's what we love. Okay, I understand, yeah. but sometimes yeah. it's too much. Yeah, sometimes it's too much. Right now yeah. you have control over it. Yeah. Love trouble. <laughs> I wouldn't know that about you. It's so wide. It's so wide. Yeah. <laughs> so I I I, um, I showed this to John Mary. He says that's not a pedal. That's a piece of high end audio gear. <laughs> it's just a piece of studio gear, really. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you, you showed me before uh, um, using it as a univibe or like... Um, uh, yeah, yeah, so, so you, they have to be careful about that. So let's do this one side at a time. So let's do yeah. the fast side. Go on. Fast side, yeah. Just hold one note. Just hold one, just one note. Just, just play one note. Now we'll do the other one. It 
So, so, pop, 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 pop. Yeah, it's more glassy. It's more glassy. Well, then, it's more, then, yeah, then, yeah, then turn it, the glass yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, I, thought, the I thought you liked the treble. treble. I, I know. Well, let's start all the way up then. <laughs> wow. Hey, good pedals, man. Cool. So we just released these. Yeah. And anybody in their right mind wouldn't come out with another flanger. Anybody in their right mind wouldn't come out with another thing to go after distortion. And nobody in their right mind would come up with a, a compressor you couldn't hear. But it works. So do we, different. Do different. Well, I think they're. Look, I want them to make the pedal board and stay on the pedal yeah. board. Cool. So the hope was if you get one, that you, it'll get you on your pedal board and you won't take it off. It'll get dirty. That's what I want. Yeah. Cool. Okay, Paul. Thanks for having, having me. Thanks for being here. Uh, that's You're welcome. new pedal stuff, and all the boys and girls are waiting outside for you, I think. So we're going to do a clinic today? Yeah, we do a clinic today. Okay. All right, thank you, everybody. Thanks for having me.